All right, to discuss this, we're joined by the Minister in the Presidency, Mondle Gungombele. Minister, thank you very much for your time. Uh, firstly, can you give us any more details about the, the President's condition uh, this afternoon? I didn't hear your question, my apology. Can you give us any more um, information about how the President is doing today? Well, uh, good morning and thanks for the opportunity and to, to your viewership. Uh, I spoke to the president, I think about two or three hours ago. He was jovial, in a good mood, feeling that he is getting better and uh, appreciating a number of sleep. He was access to the impact they have on his recovery. Of course, making sure that he's taking a lot of fluids. And uh, I think the president is isolated and is getting better. And I also want to say uh, the country activities will continue to go as normal. Deputy President Mabuza is taking care of that as per the president's direction. Uh, we are on course with regard to whatever program we're supposed to be carrying as government. Thank you for the support to the president, to the entire South Africa. That is highly appreciated. Minister, there has been a lot of support, but there has also been some criticism. Uh, we showed some visuals. Uh, the, the president was seen dancing on his trip uh, into uh, Africa, and, and there's some criticism about that, uh, seen dancing uh, without a mask. Any response? Uh, I've responded to this thing a number of times. Even I can tell you even the president accepted the criticism for that moment. It's a moment where we take into account that occurred, which the president is not necessarily comfortable about. All right, and, and that's it? Yes, and uh, it's a regrettable moment. That's the point I can make. Uh, but I think we should take it to the context that I know the president's seriousness about COVID. I know the sacrifice he has made, how he has stuck to that as long as I've worked with him. But it is, a, it is an unfortunate moment which I think the president accepts the criticism. Of yeah. That. Will he apologize for it? And when I say it's a regrettable moment, uh, I thought that should be fine. Okay. Okay. But uh, you, you will leave the president at a time when he's actually questioned about it. But I know uh, very well that the president regrets that moment. All right, Minister, so you said uh, duties have been handed over to the, the Deputy President. Um, will the President be carrying out any uh, duties uh, from his, his isolation? Um, what about the, the meeting of the Command Council, the, the expectation uh, that many South Africans have that he would be talking about where we are in terms of COVID-19 infections, uh, if there will be any new restrictions? Will, will that now fall to the Deputy President or how does it work? Uh, I think that the Deputy President is equal to that task. Remember, operational on day-to-day, weekend-to-weekend, the, the Deputy President is the one who has been leading campaign for vaccination, cruising, uh, crisscrossing the entire country. He is the one who actually convinced the IMC on vaccine. He is the one who ensures that program. In other words, that job operationally is, 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 is where it is always in, all what happens now, the president has been leading at the top level. The, the entire presidency duties are now on the shoulders of the deputy president. But the program on COVID, uh, the deputy president is very much equal to that task. Can we expect a, a family meeting then anytime soon, led by the deputy president? Uh, if the deputy president's duty, the president's duty are transferred to the deputy president, we say the president, the deputy president will carry the president's task. Whether out of the NCCC tomorrow there will be a family day, there will be a basis for a family day, uh, it depends. If it's there, the deputy president, as the one carrying the president's task, is expected to carry that task. Minister, the, the president obviously was at the memorial of F.W. de Klerk uh, over the weekend. Uh, I understand that you were there as well. Other ministers, many um, uh, dignitaries. Uh, are, are you and others now uh, being tested, isolating, uh, taking precautions? If there was a screen grab on television, I was going to show you my results, which I got about 10 minutes ago. I'm from testing this morning and I'm, post and I'm negative. 
All right. Uh, but I, I just I just got my S. <laughs> Uh, coincidental, I got my SMS hardly 10 minutes ago. Okay, okay. So so you are negative. Um, are yes, are others am. testing? Are others concerned? All those who are with me, my VIP guys, my PA, they've gone to test. All of them, their results are negative. Mm -hmm. Minister, finally, any messages from international uh, newsmakers uh, perhaps concerned about our president? N nothing much, except that the... The, the Sky News called me to get the status of the president and to also have a conversation about the implications. I think we're able to discuss that and put uh, that matter to bed with regard to the fact that the, the country is on course. President works with him and that team is in operation as we speak. And I think I was able to carry that message. All right. Thank you for that update. That was Minister in the Presidency, Mondli Gungumbele, uh, updating us about uh, the condition of President Cyril Ramaphosa.